Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Stephanie. Today we're going to be talking about Netflix's The Irishman. You always charge a guy with a gun. With a knife, you run away. So you charge with a gun, with a knife, you run. So The Irishman is rated R. It is considered a drama crime. It was released on Netflix November 27th. It is directed by Martin Scorsese. And it is three hours and 30 minutes long and the cast you guys is freaking amazing and i'm gonna tell you i know i'm probably gonna botch quite a few of them but we get a robert de niro we get al pacino we get joe pesky back from retirement you guys we haven't seen him in a long time in a movie and we also get ray romano bobby cannavale and anna paquin youtube this is not made for kids because more than likely i'm going to be cussing because you know what it is so it's another mobster movie that Martin Scorsese directed and I'm sure it's gonna get uh, compared to Goodfellas a lot I mean it's directed by the same person a lot of the same uh, actors that were in that movie are also in this one I was so screwed up on when this movie was gonna come out you guys I honestly thought yesterday the two popes were supposed to come on I don't even know why two popes didn't even come out till next month and I thought that this movie was supposed to come out on Friday I wasn't really actually prepared to watch it yesterday but I did I was excited we're doing it actually you know what let me go ahead and pause real quick and just say happy Thanksgiving everybody I hope everybody has a wonderful day and a great time with your family actually you know what you guys are not gonna see this video until like Sunday because I'm having a, like a little mini break on loading stuff because I'm kind of trying to catch up on a lot of things so I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving let me know how your Thanksgiving was down below you guys oh my god you guys I just I don't even know where to start um because there's just so much to go talk about we're gonna go ahead and just start off with the anti-aging in this film because honestly when I first saw it I was a little bit thrown off. I said, mm, I don't know, it's going to be like another Gemini man. I Because I wasn't fond of that. Yeah, check out my review on that. I will have it come up and I'll link it down below. This, you guys, oh, I don't know if they just have better technology to use with this. Or if the story is just so good that you're able to look past it. I was able to look past it, you guys. I think after about 10, 20 minutes top, I honestly didn't bother me i didn't even think about it i actually did not realize that this was based upon a true story it was based upon a book that's called i heard you paint houses which when you see the uh, movie you'll get the reference with it the story actually is being told by frank or robert de niro he is the irish man and this is um what he went through from when he when he met joe pesky's character russell and just kind of like everything that kind of took place and then how he had his introduction to jimmy i'm just gonna go ahead and just talk about everybody's performance and i mean pacino De Niro, Pesky, what more do you fucking want, you guys? They are amazing. We we get them to what they what they're good at, you guys. Because let's face it, they really Pesky hasn't been in the business for a long time. De Niro really hasn't made any real good films in the last couple of years. I mean, because he's kind of, you know, was trying to like tip his toe in like comedy. And, you know, some of them I, I was fond of. I'm not going to lie. You know, I, I laughed, you know, in a lot of these comedic roles. But me personally, I don't know about you guys, don't really want to see De Niro in a comic role. Whether it is a comedy and he's playing that serious, like, tough guy. Jimmy, which is played by Al Pacino, um, he's just, like, really, like, over the top. If you are a fan of Al Pacino, like, yelling and just kind of, like, puffing his chest and, like, slamming you know the desk then you're gonna love this movie because he does that see i'm gonna go ahead and just say right now there should most definitely be like oscars for everything in this film for sure best picture nominee and director like somebody needs to win something and all of these together in a martin scorsese film i mean is it ever gonna happen again probably not because like i said Pesky hasn't been in a film in years like I think he was basically retired already all the performances in this film were absolutely wonderful I saw their actual character I looked past this amazing actor and I saw the character that they were portraying which is what an actor 
should do and one of the things that Charlie's Angels did like which I did see in my review and I'll have that come up here and link it down below I go like this because I don't know which way it comes out one of the things that I did say about Elizabeth Banks is that I didn't see her as bossy I just saw her as Elizabeth Banks so there is just like a little bit of comic relief in this film not a lot you're not gonna let me slap or anything like that I mean it is a mobster gangster kind of movie so you're not gonna get anything like that but you do get a few like little heckles here and there there was actually a couple of times where I did laugh and I'm like am I supposed to laugh there like after I laughed and I'm like well I don't know I laughed but if you guys laughed in places that you were kind of like unsure let me know down below because I would be very curious to know if I'm just like the only like weird one that was like laughing at like just random shit basically and with Scorsese in the mix of course you're gonna get a wonderful score to go along with it this is something else that I feel deserves an Oscar knob I absolutely enjoyed every last piece that they used in this film everything went beautifully I mean you guys even when the damn movie ended I still let the credits play because usually you guys like pretty much most of you I click out of there probably after you know maybe like the first or second meeting that popped up I, the way that the movie ended it just kind of kept me there and I'm just like hoping that there was like a mid credit or in credit scene like I said I wanted more out of this and I, and I ended up realizing like dude like you're still here like you're still listening to this you're still looking at this like this is how great a movie is that you're able to still sit there and stay and listen and you know just really soaking everything in did you guys also happen to stay after that last scene i mean let me know down below okay you guys i think that might be everything that i had to say about this movie i'm about 30 percent sure that i'm missing something because i always am and as soon as i start editing it's when i realize it and by then i'm already in my pajamas makeup is already off and i'm just like mm, i want to scare the poor people at home so we're gonna leave it with that okay so do i recommend for you guys to see this movie of course yes of course i recommend for you guys to see this from what i do understand is that it is in selected theaters as well personally i don't i would not recommend for you to see this in theaters yes it may be a better experience in theaters you might get more out of it to sit in a theater for three and a half hours i personally wouldn't be able to do it i feel like if i had seen this in theaters i possibly would not have enjoyed it as much because i'm very fidgety honestly i feel like at home make sure you're nice and comfortable get your popcorn get your beer get your wine your whiskey whatever the hell you want your tea and like just sit chill and um if you do see the theaters i would recommend for you to get one that maybe has like the reclining chair so you can at least get some sort of comfort along with it great movie great cast great director definitely needs multiple oscar nominations you know that is kind of like my quick little recap there if you guys have seen the irish man let me know down below what you guys thought about it who was your favorite character did you enjoy this movie were you over did you see it in theater did you see it on netflix what is your favorite martin scorsese film like let me know down below that is enough for me talking about the irish man before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new and until next time i'll be seeing you guys in the sessions bye